Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm so excited to celebrate you because when you, I remember the first time you DM, you were talking in the chat, in the DMs, and you're like, I want to join the headquarters. No, no, I want to join the headquarters. I don't know. I want to join the headquarters. I'm not quite sure. And when you were like, Rich, I'm in the headquarters. And then we had a call. And I vividly remember one of our most recent calls inside headquarters. It was about two or three calls ago where you shared inside the group. But I wanted to give you this space because you just had a $56,000 cash month. I want to get with you. Where were you before? What shift are you now? Oh, man, you're putting me on the spot. Where, hi, Freedom Queens. I just want to say, first of all, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Okay, I'm going to start it with this because as Bridget said in the beginning stages, I was really hesitant because I did have um, like a very successful business last year, but I was doing it completely wrong because I did not have a voice of my own. And I was kind of like focusing on what my mentors told me to do. Focus on one high ticket offer, name it this way, and then market it this way. And then don't show up, don't say like, don't be you essentially, just be that marketer behind the scene. And it just drained me. I did not like it. So I just decided to close it. And then after that, I just still have the fire inside of me where I'm like, I know I can do more. I know I, there are people I can help. I know I want to be the person I want to become that I have in my reality, like in my vision. And then when I found out about Bridget, I was kind of like, oh man, is Bridget going to be like that mentor that I had, you know, experienced in the past? Like, how is she different? What? And then I attended a lot of her lives. Like, Every single live, every single Monday, I'm attending, I'm listening to her. And I noticed that how she's free. She's free, like in her marketing, the way she speaks, the way she even just in her body, even in her marketing. And I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. This is exactly who I want to become. And I just decided and made a decision that, hey, if you want to be free, then you should start making bold moves that scares you the most in order for you to be free. And then when I joined Bridget membership and then the headquarter, man, I started to shed skin one after one, one after one, personality after personality, trauma, generational trauma, everything. I was really removing the blocks one by one as I'm like watching her trainings when she spoke about how you're presenting yourself, celebrity status, how you get in your power, how people perceive you. because in the beginning, I had no clue that people perception really matters the most, even more than your content. Because if you notice that the content, a lot of people write really good content, but how we perceive them is the difference that makes us go with this person versus with that person. And the way I perceived Bridget was, she's like my shining star, you know? So I was like, okay, if I perceive her like that, then I want people to perceive me, you know, in a different way. And what happened to me inside of uh, the headquarters and working with Bridget really is, is throwing in the trash my old personality, my old habits, what I was thinking about myself, how I feel about myself. Even when I write content, who, are, who am I when I write the content? Am I just writing content because I'm needy, because I want to sign clients or versus, wow, I'm very proud of this piece. Somebody is going to benefit from this work. Somebody is going to change their life by just reading this post. So it's kind of like I started to think about the person behind the screen more. And I, yeah. I became that person that I want somebody to become for me. Just like how Bridget was for me. So that was huge, huge, huge shift is that I started to see myself as that person. So people can see me like that yeah. as well. And not, like, and not just for seeing me like that, but it's just so exciting. It's like so freaking exciting when you're being yourself writing that content and just like I know somebody's gonna read this and move their butt to change their life so it's kind of like I've become free I've become excited and really I just I found myself I found exactly who I am what I stand for the community I want to build who are the women I want to call in and it's just so freaking, I just cannot believe I'm waking up every single damn day, writing content, creating stuff, going live, providing value, making money. It's just so freeing. What the heck? <laughs> just amazing. You know, I, I never told you this, but somebody messaged me after, I think it was the Freedom Queen Challenge in December. 
they said, who is that woman, Basma, that came on because she has some energy about her. And I said, oh yeah, that's Basma. Like you need to go connect with her because you do, you, you have this um, contagious energy about you. That's just like, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for paving the way. So I, I you know, I know you and I've celebrated a couple of times privately, but just to hear you say this, it, it hit differently. Is there anything that you want to share before we move on to the next person? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, thank you for accepting me for who, who I was and also holding the space for me for who I'm becoming. And I just want to say for every woman here is that never, never try to be someone else because somebody else is doing it. So if, we, let's say, your mentor is doing pink and you don't like pink, like Katie said, just do the damn color you want to do. You want black, you want black. You want white, you want pink, you want invisible. Just do that. Like, don't try to live somebody else's life because I promise you, you will regret that. And if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel happy, excited, being yourself, I promise you, people can read that. They can see that. And it will just be, it's like people singing a song. They can literally hear the lyrics and you're not seeing that. So do the damn black color, do the damn purple, pink, do whatever color you want to do and embody that color to the deepest. So don't live somebody else's life. It will really change your life. 